Dune Messiah is the second novel in the Dune series by Frank Herbert, published in 1969. The novel continues the story of Paul Atreides, now known as Paul Muad'Dib, who has become the emperor of the known universe following the events of the first book. In Dune Messiah, Paul's prescient abilities have made him a nearly invincible leader and a religious figurehead, but they also trap him in a destiny he may not wish to fulfill. His rule, while effective, has resulted in a bloody jihad across the universe in his name, leading to the deaths of billions. This weighs heavily on him, and he struggles with the moral and ethical implications of his reign. The novel introduces new characters, including a group of conspirators who aim to dethrone Paul. Among them are a Tleilaxu face dancer, a creature capable of mimicking anyone perfectly, and a guild navigator, a being mutated by the spice melange to have prescient abilities. Dune Messia delves deeper into the themes of power, religion, and prescience introduced in Dune. It explores the idea that absolute power and absolute certainty can be just as much a prison as a source of freedom. It also examines the consequences of Paul's rule and the far-reaching effects of his decisions. The novel ends with a dramatic climax that sets the stage for the next book in the series, Children of Dune. Despite being shorter than its predecessor, Dune Messiah packs a significant amount of character development and philosophical exploration into its pages. It's a worthy continuation of the Dune saga, further expanding the rich universe that Herbert created.